Hello and welcome to Saxophone 101. So I'm starting a new series of videos, some shorter videos around sort of five, six minutes long, just going over some basic technical ideas of the instrument. And this first episode, I'm going to start with just basic posture. So I'm going to say a few words about that. I hope you enjoy the video. Here we go. <laughs> So I think one of the first things and obvious things that we need to talk about in relation to the saxophone is this, because we've got the weight of the instrument around our neck and I feel like I'm always correcting pupils on, on where this sits and even more experienced pupils, you know, I do quite often say, oh, can you just, you know, get that up one more inch? Um, because they can't quite sort of get the height of the instrument right. So a few words about this. So I think my personal preference is to basically just stand as you would normally stand, keep your head at head height and just make sure that this reed and mouthpiece just comes up to your bottom lip without having to sort of, you know, reach really awkwardly to it. It's ever so bad for your neck, especially if you're young as well. So, uh, and you'll notice I use this corded type strap. Um, this is really handy if you're doing shows and you, your instrument's going up and down all the time, or if you're teaching and you're putting your instrument on and off all the time. I don't recommend this one for pupils because it, it can slip off the hook, you know, a little bit easily. Um, but the reason I like these corded straps is that they they just adjust so easily. You know, you can just two fingers on there and, and you can get it to the exact place that you like. Um, I'm gonna come back to straps in a minute. So let's just talk about the height of this. So. So if I just adjust that nice and easily and notice now that that mouthpiece comes to my bottom lip and I'm not having to reach awkwardly for it anymore so I can so I can reach those notes you know and play the instrument comfortably so really important um, because you know especially for young players it's quite um quite a heavy piece of kit I mean this one is actually one of the lighter sort of saxophones I've noticed a lot of student instruments funny enough seem to be quite heavy um maybe they're not so refined or something i don't know but there are a lot of student saxophones out there that are they almost feel like double the weight of this thing this is a yamaha 280 which is a student saxophone um, but it's one of the be one of the better sort of student instruments you might say okay let's talk about another common little fault that I see, um, not with pupils so much that I start off, but some pupils that I've taken over, this left hand, I mean, I mean, talk about trying to make it as difficult as you can, you know, I see some players, they're trying to, they've got this wrist bent so awkwardly, you think, how can you possibly play like that, you know, and they're trying to play it like that, you know, um, so just try and keep that wrist, you know, like that don't have it I know it looks it looks silly now doesn't it but you'd be surprised you know so don't make that that reach round the saxophone there the reach round the palm keys the palm keys try not to make that any more awkward than it needs to be and with regards to the right hand oh actually let's go back to the left hand again and uh, another common thing that I see with a lot of young players is is they're trying to, maybe this is a separate video, but they're trying to like, trying to jump on and off the octave key, um, which looks very cumbersome. So try to get that thumb in a position where you can really just sort of add that key when you want it. Um, and I talk about this on clarinet all the time as well, is try to minimize the key work. Just try to basically play the instrument with as little effort as you can, I guess, you know, you're trying to minimize what you do so that it doesn't look like you're having a bit of a fight with the instrument. And just moving on to the other thumb. Now this is a key point, I think, on the alto saxophone. If you've got both thumbs in the right place and the saxophone is on the sling at the right height as well, you'll find that it really does, if you've got those thumbs in the right place, you've got push from the left hand thumb and a bit of push from the right hand thumb, it really does help to kind of steady the instrument, I think. And so both thumbs pushing, it's a bit like flute in a way, because on the flute you kind of push with both thumbs to kind of balance the instrument that way as well. Um, so it's kind of like the same thing on saxophone. 
<laughs> but like that instead. So I think that kind of sums it up on the posture side of things for saxophone. Just go one more word about the sling thing. Um, just make sure you get a sling that's appropriate for you and your age, you know, in terms of like the length of the sling. Now you can get those kind of quite spongy padded straps, the Neotech ones that go round your neck for saxophone. Now pupils buy these, I don't think they're a great strap personally because that sponginess in the strap, you never feel like you get it in the right place and it's always kind of moving. Um, so personally, I don't like those straps. I think they're okay if you're, if you're playing like this with a t-shirt, um, that extra sort of sponginess may be quite comfortable, I think, and that's why people buy them. But I like these straps because once you get it into a certain place, it, it doesn't move and there's no sponginess in it. Um, and also if you're wearing, if I'm at work and I'm wearing a shirt or a shirt collar, this kind of, this area here fits on your shirt collar. So I like this kind of strap if you're wearing a collar and perhaps those larger, more spongy type if you like, are, are perhaps better if you're playing with a t-shirt on or something. But anyway, I think that wraps this one up. I hope you found that video useful. Of course, click that like button if that's something you're into and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.